Hey, kids. Why'd you do that to our blocks? Don't ask stupid questions. I'm Troy McClure. You may know me from such movies as The Hills Have Eyes 3, The Hills Still Have Eyes, Rambo 40, and Rocky 15. I heard you kids talking about the Nasserai. Yeah, we did it. It puts a hair up there and makes it smaller down there. Oh, kids, get your heads out of the gutter. It gives you hair on your head and shrinks your prostate. As you can see here, finasteride's percent composition is broken down into four elements. Carbon, which takes up 74.22%, hydrogen, which takes up 9.67%, nitrogen, which takes up 7.53%, and oxygen, which takes up 8.59%. For the bonding types, C to C normal bond or C to C double bond is nonpolar, C to N one bond is polar, and C to H with one bond is nonpolar. There's no actual boiling point to finasteride, but when added to a solvent, the solvent's boiling point is used. The state of matter is crystalline powder, which is insoluble in water. The color of finasteride is, is a white powder. Other dyes and colors are added when put into pill form. Well, kids, I hope you learned something today. I sure did, Mr. McClure. With finasteride, my hair grew like crazy. I took finasteride, too. Look at my Beep. I'm Mike Mia. I'm Kevin McElmail. And I'm Gordon Gibbs. I'm Mike Wallace. Those stories and Andy Rooney tonight on 60 Minutes. I'm Andy Rooney. Tonight, we'll be interviewing... Cynthia Sheik. Cynthia, would you like to come in? Cynthia, tell me about finasteride. Well, Andy, it is a synthetic compound I came up with in the 1980s, 1990s. I discovered at work that it carried out uh, to reduce prostate enlargement in men that were having difficulty urinating. Um, it is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, which, as I explained earlier, is a key enzyme in DHT, or dihydroxytestosterone, which is implicated in prostatic problems to shrink the prostate. Um, a weaker version is usually developed for people, for men. Alopecia. Um, it usually bl blocks the testosterone to shrink the prostate, but we learned in that effect that it makes hair growth as a side effect. Mm. Uh, but there are also uh, medical health risks, such as nipple tenderness, oh. problem uh, sexual dysfunction, and birth defects in women who are usually near it, and uh, there is a risk in not finding prostate cancer because the medication is almost making it harder to find. So there is a just increased cancer risk because it is tougher to find. So Cynthia, are there any future plans for finasteride? Well, other than the treatment for prostate enlargement or male pattern baldness, I don't really see that there could be an- That reminds me, I took finasteride for the first time in the 80s when I had a problem down there. Hair up there is one of the side effects. Well, actually, Andy, I have something else to talk about today. I was just wondering if- oh, Wallace, get that clip of me with my hair in the 80s. Yeah, I remember. You used to have hair back then. Yo, Wallace, why don't you shut the hell up? And I've been here longer than you. Oh, yeah. I remember that hair. Man, I am never gonna forget that beautiful, luscious hair. Oh, man, I got all the ladies with this hair. Oh, hi. Do you have baldness problems or prostate enlargement? Then finasteride is for you. Finasteride was a drug made in the 1990s. The medication was first used to treat prostate enlargement. Then found out that one of the beneficial side effects was hair growth. And now, everyone today is using finasteride for hair growth or treatment for prostate enlargement, like big celebrities such as... Zac Efron Patrick Dempsey Derek Zoolander Sanjay Malakar Mr. Lo Schiavo, the red monster from Bugs Bunny. You'll be starting by looking like this, and end up looking like this. Just ask one of our many scientists. He'll agree that finasteride is the best. Uh, 
Still not convinced? Meet one of our first clients ever and how he reacted to finasteride. Before I was a loser, but now I'm an accomplished movie star with three Grammys and an Academy Award. So as you can see, finasteride is the best. So use it today! Mr. Lo Schiavo. Cynthia, tell me about finasteride. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, tell me about finasteride. Well, finasteride is this compound synthetic that I created. Oh, sorry, can we do it again? I said, that. well, finasteride is a synthetic compound I made in the early night. <laughs> Mike, don't do that. Yeah. Good. Camera guy can't hide. So, Cynthia, tell me about finasteride. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Are there any future plans for no, the no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. look? That reminds me, I took finasteride for the first time in the 80s when I had a problem down there. And then I had hair up there as one of the side effects. <laughs> hey Mike, look at my- That's you do that? Oh no, look at yeah. You go, who are you? I go, why'd you do that to our- I'm Troy McClure. You may know me from such movies as The Hills Still Have Eyes. The Hills Have Eyes 3. Bra Hi, I'm Troy McClure. What are you looking at me? <laughs> right. Look at my prostate. Oh. Still not convinced? Let's listen to one of our first clients ever and how he reacted to finasteride. Before I was a loser. But now I'm an accomplished movie star. Today!